Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm uh, going to take a quick look here at Solana. Ticker for this is SOL, and uh, I'm currently on the weekly time frame. Now, I started covering uh, this coin all the way down here, and when I did that, I gave you these uh, targets to the upside. We've now kind of worked our way through them, and we've reached the uh, top target, okay? So in the last video, I drew this horizontal line, and that was based on the low of this wick right here. And if you look right, you see it was resistance. And if we look all the way over here, it became resistance once again, okay? Now you'll see I also have this range right here. And I think this is based on a combination of the Fibonacci retracement. And the top line is based on uh, the top of these candle bodies right here. So if you want to trade Solana, I highly recommend that you draw this on your chart. Because if we do push uh, back up to the upside, I would look um, around $137 to be a potential resistance level, okay? So just take a horizontal line and just paste it right at the top of these candle bodies here. And as I mentioned, the start of this range is based on the Fibonacci retracement. So I'll show you how I got that. Just take a Fib and run it from the top all the way down to the, uh, to the bottom here. And you'll see that the 786 comes in right here at around $125. And that's pretty much where the price came to. So the price came up to this 786 Fib retracement. Um, but the candle bodies closed below this horizontal uh, resistance line that I just mentioned. Okay, now I noticed I got a comment about a week ago. And they were asking where the support is. And I think when the question was asked, the price was around $99. And at that moment, we were at a support level. So you see right here, uh, the top of these candle bodies, you see it was resistance for uh, quite a while. Oftentimes when you break a established resistance level and the price comes back to it, that's a region where buyers are going to step in to defend the level. And that's pretty much what's been happening right here. With the exception of this flash crash to the downside, has been somewhat holding as a support. Now you see I'm on a four hour time frame and we have these candle bodies closing below. But if I switch this to the daily, you'll see that even though we had this uh, crash to the downside, this was bought up and this candle body closed above this support level. Okay, so based on the daily chart here, this is the level that is currently being defended. And that is around, it's around $98. Okay, so what you don't want to see if you're longing Solana, you don't want to see a candle body close below this $98 price point. Okay, now speaking of this flash crash to the downside, look where we got supported, okay? So we have this upsloping level of support when drawn from the wicks. That's exactly where the buyer stepped in to uh, buy. And we had confluence at this level. So I'll change the, uh, the chart back to the weekly time frame. And you'll see this level right here, the golden pocket range between the 618 and the 65%. This was a uh, level of resistance for quite a while. You see right here, the, the beginning of this range, the 65% was the resistance. Once we broke above it, the 65% became the resistance. So this range right here, it also lined up with the previous level of support. So right here, the 65 at around $77. That was a significant level to break. And basically what we did right here with the flash crash is we came down and we retested it. So this is actually a successful resistance to support flip. It happened very fast, but technically this is in, right? So it's not impossible that we come back down to retest the support level once again, but this is a key level that, you know, for the sake of Solana, I'd like to see hold. Okay, and once again, that's around $78. But actually, I'm going to take this back down to the daily time frame. Now that this upsloping level of support is getting a little bit higher and higher, you can look to this level as a support. If we indeed start closing daily candles below this uh, $98, $97 region. Okay, so as of right now, this is the support level to watch. And the top of the range is going to be between $116 and $123. Okay, so that's tradable if you want. I'm personally not trading Solana, but actually let's just do a quick R&R on that. So theoretically, if we were to enter right now, here at around $101, we would place our stop loss um, below the wick of this last candle. And if we're conservative and we take our profit right here, that's going to give us uh, r and R of 1 to 2.65, meaning for every $1 we risk, we could potentially get $2.65 in return. Uh, this particular trade setup, we would risk 5.41% to potentially get over 14% to the upside. And if the price did move in our favor, if we were in a long position, 
and we just gradually moved our stop loss up, we could target the top of the range here being the 618 retracement level. And this would give us a much more favorable RNR, uh, one to about a one to four, so one to 4.16. Uh, again, just risking that 5.41% to the downside, and we could potentially get over 22% if the trade works out in our favor. So that's the setup on Solana right now. Again, for me, it's not necessarily a very high confidence trade, simply because if I switch this back to the weekly, we, I mean, we are quite extended, even though technically we have had a big retrace here, uh, retesting this $77 region. Just the look of this doesn't really make me want to long it, you know? But if you do, uh, that is the setup that I just mentioned right here. And also, if you want it to long and we do get another breakdown from this $98 level, again, you can consider taking a long off of this upsloping level of support. And of course, if we do get a wick back down here uh, to around the $77 level to retest this formal level of resistance once again as a support, then that's going to be another buying opportunity. Okay, back on a weekly time frame once again. And if we are able to break above this 786 retracement level, then the next region of resistance that I would look to, I think I've already mentioned this, would be around just shy of $140, so $139. Again, based on the top of these candle bodies right here in this support region, okay? Beyond that, it's likely going to head back up to the all-time high. Okay, so that's just a quick update here on Solana. The target that I mentioned all the way down here has been hit. But that's not to say that we can't go higher and hit the top of this range and even beyond that. This seems to be a pretty popular coin right now uh, because I think people are, are buying it, staking it, and hoping to get some uh, airdrops. So the demand on it definitely makes sense. All right, hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I release these videos, click subscribe, click the bell, click on all. Now that the market's starting to heat up, you definitely want to make sure you have that notification bell on. And if you want a place to trade Solana and pretty much any of the other coins I talk about on this channel, I put the link to three different exchanges in both the pinned comment and the description. And through those links, if you sign up and you make an account and deposit money through those links, you're going to get a sign up bonus. Now, I understand a lot of you probably don't want to trade on an exchange that uh, requires you to submit your personal information. So if you don't want to do a KYC process, then your best option is going to be the one linked at the top. It's called Bing X. And as of right now, they don't require you to submit any uh, form of ID to uh, deposit, trade, withdrawal, do whatever on that exchange. All right, that about wraps it up. Take care. Have a good day. Bye. Hey guys, so after I just recorded that video, I noticed a couple things that I wanted to uh, make an addition. So I'm recording this after the fact. So relating to the uh, resistances to the upside, I mentioned right here at around $138 is going to be a pretty significant one. Again, based on the top of these candle bodies right here and the fact that this level held a support all throughout this range. But one I forgot to mention, well, just because I simply didn't notice it until now, is right here, okay? So um, actually, you see how I have the Fibonacci still drawn on? And this is the 88.3. To be honest, I don't even know if the 88.3 is a Fibonacci number, but I have it on my fibs because I find a lot of the times the price will respond to this level. I remember watching a trading tutorial uh, several years ago, and the guy teaching it just recommended to have this on your, on your fib. So I added it and it has been uh, quite helpful in my training, okay? So actually I'm gonna get rid of the Fib right now, but this you see lines up with the 88.3. Now if I get rid of it, what I've done is I've marked this out with a horizontal ray and I'll kind of zoom in for you here. So you see this level right here was resistance right here, all throughout here. And when we broke above it and retraced back down, you'll see it held as a uh, support level all throughout this range, okay? So this is yet another level of potential resistance that you can kind of like base your trades around. If we do end up breaking this $137 level, as I mentioned, I said it's likely just to head up to the all-time high, but I would anticipate that this $173 level ends up being a little bit of a roadblock, okay? So definitely worth just marking on your chart. Now, the second thing I wanna show you, well, a couple things, okay? Actually, I'm gonna take this down to the four hour, and you'll see that we're putting in a little bit of a triangle formation here. So if we do push up from where we are right now, you can look to this downsloping uh, trend line as a uh, potential level of resistance, okay? So something to be aware of. And if I take this back out to the daily time frame, um, I'm going to extend this out. And this trend line, uh, as I mentioned, is drawn from the, uh, from the wicks, right? And this is where a lot of buyers stepped in on the uh, flash crash. But if I extend this down... If we end up losing this uh, support level right here, that's going to end up just basically forming this uh, new pattern formation, okay? So currently, 
the support being this uh, $98, $97 horizontal level of support. This is the key level right now. However, we also have this upsloping level of support being the lower line from this triangle formation. Of course, we got obliterated right here, but I'm just kind of going by where the candle bodies are closing, okay? But if we lose this lower line, then this is going to be the uh, new pattern that forms, okay? This upsloping level of support, this downsloping level of resistance, and you can use these levels to either buy or sell against. All right, so just wanted to get that in. Number one being this level of potential resistance that I had previously overlooked. And number two being this triangle formation with this downsloping level of resistance to uh, be aware of. Okay, that's it for now. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye.